saw Iran for president. Now, what President Clinton taught us is that our democracy is not a monologue. In fact, it's a dialogue. And young people need to have a meaningful role in conversations about our future. That's why we're so pleased tonight to not just have one event here in New York, but indeed to have three. We're joined tonight by our groups in Richmond, Virginia, and Raleigh, North Carolina, who are joining us by simulcast. I feel like the Wizard of Oz here. Hey, Chris, can you hear me? Hey, Adrian. All right, we're here with the crowd at Generation Engage Richmond Hotspot Hyperlink Cafe. Courtney Crowder in Raleigh, what's up? Hey, Adrian, how's everything going? We're here in Raleigh. We're, uh, we're having a big time. Adrian, we're excited here. Thanks for doing what you're doing. Thanks, Court, and thank you all for being here again this evening. Most of all, I want to thank the President for reminding us that politics can be substantive, social, and a heck of a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, President Bill Clinton. Uh, truth is, I would be here anyway because I have known Devin and Adrian since they were infants. But I'm actually quite proud to be here. I'm proud of the men they have become, and I'm proud of the work they're doing. And I'm very uh, committed to using the forces of technology and the opportunities that are presented to you today to try to empower more young people to shape the future of their communities and their country and the world. More than at any time in the history of human society, People have the power to do public good, whether they are in office or not, for three reasons. First, more than half the people live under democracies for the first time in history since the end of the Cold War. We know how to do this. We know that government policies play a role in it. Between 1993 and 2001, we had 50 percent more jobs than in the previous 12 years but moved 100 times as many people out of poverty. We know how to do this. This is not rocket science. So that's why all this is important. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative, whether you want government to do more or you think you should do more, the one thing you can't do anymore is to say, there's nothing I can do about this. It is not true. Young people have never had so much ability to control not only their own destiny, but to do public good as private citizens in the whole history of humanity. We live in a world where we know how to end poverty. We know how to do this. We know that government policies play a role in it. Between 1993 and 2001, we had 50% more jobs than in the previous 12 years but moved 100 times as many people out of poverty. We know how to do this. This is not rocket science. So that's why all this is important. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative, whether you want government to do more or you think you should do more, the one thing you can't do anymore is to say, there's nothing I can do about this. It is not true. Young people have never had so much ability to control not only their own destiny, but to do public good as private citizens in the whole history of humanity. You, you cannot, for the rest of your life, ever look in the mirror and say, well, I regret this, 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 and this. I wish America were that, 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 and that, but alas, there's nothing I can do about it. I wish the world were doing more of this, but oh, what can I do? You know now. You have the tools, you have the power, you have the knowledge. They're giving you a vehicle to do it, and I'm honored to be here supporting them tonight. Thank you, and bless you all.